we're going to take a look at some Microsoft Word navigation tips and keyboard shortcuts. To select a word, double click. To select an entire paragraph, triple click. To select just a certain sentence, control click. To select multiple sections, just select as normal. And now, let go of everything, hold down the control key, select again and you can leave the control key held down and select multiple areas. Control home goes all the way to the top of the document. Control N goes all the way to the bottom. Control shift home highlights all the way to the top from where you were and control shift N highlights all the way to the bottom starting from where you were. Take a look at this one. Keep your eye on this little paragraph, save time in Word right here. Alt, Shift, Up moves this paragraph up. Alt, Shift, Down moves it down. Alt, Shift, Up, Alt, Shift, Down. Control, Shift, Up highlights from where you are to the beginning of the paragraph. Control, Shift, Down arrow highlights all the way from where you are to the end of the paragraph. Okay, you can't really see it, but pressing Shift and F5 together moves your cursor to your last edit location, even if you've saved your document and reopened it. And it can rotate through the last three edit locations. To delete the last word that you've typed, say your cursor is here, you can do a Control Backspace. To change text to Superscript, Control Plus. To subscript text, highlight it and do control equal sign. See that lowers the text and makes it smaller. Control plus superscripts it. Control equal sign subscripts it. To increase font size, select and do control shift greater than symbol, which is say on the same key as your period goes up incrementally. To reduce the font, control shift less than symbol, which is the same key as your comma. Up and down, very helpful. And we have our oldies but goodies. Control C to copy. Control V paste. Now if you have special formatting that you do not want to paste with your selection, you would do Control Alt V and then select just unformatted text. Hit OK. Control Y repeats the same action. So whatever you did last, pressing Control Y just does it again. Control B, bold. Control I, italicizes. Control U, underlines. Control E, centers. Control L, aligns to the left. Control Right, doesn't seem to be working, but it should align to the right. To activate the very useful navigation pane, you can do a quick Control F. Here's all your headings for the document, your pages. Now I picked up a search, pages, your results. So if I search for the word Word, I can click on results and try to skim down and quickly find the one I want. Page down, of course, takes you screen by screen. Page up, control end, I think I showed this earlier, all the way to the bottom of the document. Control home, all the way back up. Control down arrow takes you one paragraph at a time. Control up arrow, one paragraph up at a time. Control left arrow takes you one word to the left. Control right, one word to the right. If you're in a table, tab moves you from cell to cell. Shift tab moves you back cell to cell. So tab moves you to the right. Shift tab moves you to the left from cell to cell. Now if you need to quickly get to a specific place in a document, you can create a bookmark. So say I wanted a bookmark right here. Go to insert, give it a name. and add it. 
Now if I do a control G for the advanced find, I can select bookmark, and if I had more than one, I'd select my bookmark and press go to. Again, control G is our advanced find. You can search by bookmarks or comments, footnotes, pages, and so forth. You can find and find and replace. One last quick shortcut, control P opens up the print interface. So I hope this helps you navigate Word a little faster. Thank you.